And that would be the Lieutenant Governor of Louisiana, the promoter of the state. That's what I need to worry about every day. I don't need to wake up and pick up the phone every morning and ask if he's dead yet. <laughs> and close the briefcase and go back to the house and do nothing the rest of the day. No, that's not his job. But I can tell you this, folks. I have to tell you this. If something should happen, I can step right in there. And I'll do the job and I'll take care of you folks long enough until we have an election. And then when we have that election, you folks can vote the guy that you want to be the governor of this state. But I can guarantee you one thing, my name will not be on that ballot. I will go back to being the lieutenant governor of Louisiana. That's the job I know. That's the job I want. And it's the only job I want. Not interested in anything else. I believe that we need a Branson type city in this state. I really believe that. I do have to bring this up though. One of my opponents for the last two months has been, he's just been tearing me up. Saying that I wanted to use taxpayers dollars to fund this Branson type city or state money. That is an outright lie. I have never said that. You can go back three, four years ago. I've always said it needs to be a private funded city. But the problem is we've never had anybody that's willing to go out and hustle up that business around the country and around the world. There's plenty of guys all over the world that would be willing to invest in a Branson type city here. That don't cost you any money. It don't cost the state money. It brings revenue to us. It creates jobs for us. That's what it's all about. That's the lieutenant governor's job. You know, all of our state parks, we have beautiful state parks. Did you know the lieutenant governor's office owns a tour bus? None of you knew that, did you? It's an old bluebird. But it's still brand new. They don't use it. In our state parks, I really believe that the lieutenant governor, every couple of months or so, he ought to get on that bus and go spend two or three nights at a state park. Two months later, go to another state park and spend two or three nights. Let the whole world know that our parks, if they're good enough for the lieutenant governor to go camp and fish and hang out for a couple of days, they're good for anybody to do it. I was asked yesterday if I was going to have an open door policy. I told a man, I said, yes, sir, I will. But I can tell you this, you're not going to use it much. And he looked at me like I was kind of goofy. I said, the reason you won't use it much is because I will be on that bus going around the state, coming to see you folks, all the tourism people around and uh, hotel people, Chamber of Commerce. That's what he's supposed to do. He's, he's not supposed to wait for you to call him. You go see him and say, what can the state do to help you in your area? Yeah. I don't know every area, what they need in every area of the, of, of the state. I live in one area. But I need to go and find out what they need because we need to be promoting the whole state. Yes. We only promote one part of it. People in Shreveport are telling me, in Monroe, and here, they say, we're forgotten about. Well, let me tell you, I live in southwest Louisiana, not far. We're forgotten about too, folks. We are. And enough is enough. Let's get the career politicians and the political insiders out of the promotions office for this state. They're not going to do anything for you. I just, uh, you know, the sportsman's paradise. i got to talk about the sportsman's paradise. Because I'm a big outdoor guy. I love to hunt. I love to fish. I love to camp. And the God's honest truth, if I could live 100% of my life outside, I would. And that's not a joke. I'm telling you what I know is the truth. The thing about it is, I look at these outdoor magazines and I buy a lot of them. And I read them from the front to the back. Especially in the back when all the ads are. And I look at all those ads. Well, 
I'm not looking for a log cabin in Colorado, but I know there's one there. But you know what I do see? Ads that say, come hunt and fish with us in Idaho or Wyoming or Canada. Never once have I seen an ad that says, come to the sportsman's paradise in Louisiana. We have everything you want and everything you need, and you just might end up staying here the rest of your life. I believe that I am the only guy that is uniquely qualified to run this office. Let's get the politics out of this office. That's not what it's about. It's the only office that I know of that benefits every single person in this state. It don't matter if you're black, white, green, red, man, woman, child, independent, Republican, Democrat, it don't matter. His job is to look after every single person here. It's not leaning this way or leaning that way. That's not what it is. Take the politics out. Yes. I need you Saturday. I need you to go to the polls. I need you to vote. I need you to bring three, four, five friends with you. I need your support. They say it's going to be a low voter turnout. Well, let's, let's do something different. Let's get the folks out and show them that, we, that voting is very important to us and this office is very important to this state. And I appreciate you coming. I'm not going to take much more of your time, but if you don't mind, I'd like to do a couple of quick songs for you. How about that?